I'm Kendall Isley. I live in Hall River, North Carolina, uh, Cherry Hill Farm. We are uh, 30, 30 miles from Greensboro and maybe 60 from Raleigh. I've lived out here since 1999. 28 cows and, uh, and just do the cow-calf operation, raise hay um, for, their, for the feed, you know, in the wintertime. I built this shop in 2011. Uh, my dad used to work on the ground in the cold and the hot, and he finally built a shop at his house, and, and then when time to come to build my shop, I looked at different farms and different farm shops and, and got these ideas and put my ideas with them, and this is what I come up with. Uh, the shop is 40 by 60 foot, the inside, with uh, one 12 by 12 door and two 10 by 10 roll up doors. The shop is uh, there about 14 and a half foot from the, in the center tall. The overhangs are 12 foot on each side. Uh, they're a clear span, uh, no post whatsoever, and really the eye beams run out from the inside and with the, with the, angle, with the roof line, and that's, that's what makes the, the clear spans on the outside. You don't see many around this area with that. Um, I was thinking, well, you got your structure already established, and it wouldn't take a whole lot more to give you extra overhang. You got shade in the summer and the wintertime, it's, it's in the dry if it's not a real heavy blowing rain. Lights also are handy, just enough light in the outside. If you had, in, at nighttime you want to see hook up a trailer, or unhook it, the switch, hit the switch, drop it, and you can go. The inside walls uh, have inner panel on them up. Uh, I'm gonna say probably eight feet high. Uh, that protects the insulation, and then it gives also the light a reflection with the light in the in the floor too to give more light in the area. The lights there are a high capacity light. You can use less light fixtures and and have brighter light. Uh, we put the lift to the right as you come in to the right and kind of kept it contained. So you'd have a big area, work area, if you want to bring a disc in or, or a mowing machine and unfold it. With the exception of the workbench, everything else is portable, and it's pretty good heavy-duty workbench. It's, it's stationary to the back side of the shop. If you ever want to have a heavy object on there, it, would, it wouldn't be moving around if you're just trying to pull on it, un, unloosen or bolt or whatnot. The air compressor is out on the exterior of the shop, and uh, we want it outside because of the noise and save, you know, shop space, and, uh, and the little building around it was leftover scraps from the original building, and I, I put them together to make a cover over it to keep it, out, keep it out of the weather. The project on the car is my late father-in-law's car that he drove to high school. It's a 31 uh, AMOC. My mother-in-law, she kind of joked it because she said she was the only one would ride with ride in that car with him to school. So they ended up getting married. But uh, that's on that's in the back of my mind. Yeah, maybe later on to to fix the old car up in memory of my father-in-law. The whole shop, I could say, is pretty much wrapped up what I had in mind. 